All right, Pisces. Today is February 2nd, 2023. So let's get a message for the Piscean Collective. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high. You are welcome into this reading for the sign of Pisces. What messages do we have for Pisces for the next 72 hours going into the weekend? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, and Jupiter placements. Pisces. So we have the leg stepping into a new experience. The star, guaranteed success. Oh, yes. All right, three more for Pisces for the next 72 hours. Man, dealing a relationship with a man. This man keeps coming out, y'all, steadily. So let's see, two more. For Pisces, Peacock, uh, beware of great pride. And coins, oh my gosh. I literally put these cards back in the deck like all over after every reading. So problems to be resolved with the ink pot, psychic ability, trust your intuition on the bottom of the deck, and the bowl, plenty of material things, Pisces. All right, and you got coins coming out again. This one's steadily been coming out. This man's been coming out. I think we've seen the star lately. So we got the leg, the star, stepping into a new experience with guaranteed success. Oh, yes. And then, man, you could be the man here watching me, male Pisces. Some of you feminine Pisces may be dealing with the masculine or men. This, even if you're a Pisces masculine, you could be dealing with the male. Male. We'll see what this is, though. All right, let's jump into this. What is uh, guaranteed success here for, for Pisces? I mean, do we need to really clarify? Mm, I don't know. I don't think so, but let's do it anyway. All right. All right, guaranteed success for Pisces. For the next 72. We got the Page of Swords and the Four of Wands. So a firm foundation. This could be a twin flame. This could be a marriage, a union, some type of happy family dynamic. Yeah, the Page of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Someone might be watching you. Be happy, be a star, be successful, just well-recognized, okay, inspiring, inspirational, same thing. Eight of Wands, there could be some type of news or travel coming towards you or messages coming in, messages going out. This could be from someone who has their eye on you or this is just uh, things taking off very quickly for you. And the high priestess, yes, Pisces, all right. Very intuitive, having, um, this could even be like receiving some type of telepathic messages, receiving some type, some type of intuitive downloads as well. The high priestess, eight of wands. You guys could be very secretive or mysterious at this time, or maybe you need to. Some of you guys need to keep your travel plans to yourself, keep those to yourself. I don't know who's watching you. Why is the Page of Swords here? There could be some type of delayed news or, you know, some type of information that you're looking for or that you could be getting. Yeah, <laughs> a message of good news with the Page of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles. This could be a proposal. This could be a new car, a new home, a large gift. Okay, something, something very, uh, some of you guys may be purchasing a new home as well. This could be some a home at a distance with this eight of wands or, you know, something surrounding travel. Maybe you guys are looking up information, you know, this could be looking up like um, some of you guys may be getting approved for a loan. For a home. <laughs> All right, stepping into a new experience. Yes, stepping into a new experience. Let's go, Pisces. Lego. <laughs> All right, the Ten of Cups. 
Pisces. Y'all are stepping into the Ten of Cups, like for real. Y'all, y'all about to be real happy. Some of you guys may be, man, some of you guys may be moving in, getting married, riding off into the sunset, taking a honeymoon, traveling, okay? Going somewhere secret <laughs> with the high priestess and the eight of wands. You guys going on a secret trip or something? All right. What is stepping into a new experience for Pisces? Oh, the Ten of Swords. You gotta be kidding me. What now? So, damn, Ten of Swords. For some of you, you guys could be feeling betrayed or backstabbed in a marriage, or there could be an ending to a happy family dynamic. Maybe you guys are leaving one situation, stepping right into another. Maybe you guys are just setting out on your own. I don't know. Let's keep going and see where this is going. Stepping into a new experience. Damn, Ten of Swords. This could have to do with like family matters. <clears throat> there could be an end to like a marriage for some taking place. Could be ending very painfully, but maybe you're happy that something's ending. Like Ten of Cups, Ten of Swords. Like maybe you're happy that something's over with or it could have been a, you know kind of painful. There could have been some type of, you know, betrayals but ultimately you could be happy because you could step into something new like happy that something's over with okay king of wands aries leo sagittarius and two of swords some of you guys could be ignoring a fire sign or you know or there could be a fire sign here aries leo sag or someone with fire in their chart or just someone who's very good looking an entrepreneur a go-getter Someone who's very passionate, experienced, okay? Someone who's very motivated. Someone may be taking action towards you as well and you don't even see this. Ooh. There's some type of a difficult decision or someone here who's refusing to make a choice or a decision. Maybe someone doesn't have all the facts or they're feeling torn between two relationships. Yeah, maybe someone's feeling torn between two relationships and they're stepping out of one and taking action towards another. That could be another thing that's going on as well. Because stepping into a new experience, it's like... Someone may have gone through some type of betrayal, harsh, painful ending, maybe with a third party or dealing with friends or siblings or something to that nature. Like someone may have been betrayed or backstabbed by family members or siblings. And someone's like... Someone could have been torn between two or having a hard time choosing between family and like what makes them happy. There could be like some type of an ending taking place, but ultimately someone's stepping into a new experience. So, Four of Cups and the Sun card. Leo energy is here. So someone here is feeling bored and discontent or there's some type of a missed opportunity, but right after that comes the sun. So it's like whatever this boredom, this discontent, this uh, remorse, nostalgia, self, self, self-absorption, okay, or focusing on the negative type energy. Maybe somebody was looking at other options. Someone may be feeling like they missed an opportunity, missed an opportunity for happiness with the sun card, or they missed, or something here is just like, something could be illuminated that someone's like no longer happy, or they're just feeling bored and discontent within a situation, or Someone may have been looking at other options, refusing to accept this cup of love from the divine. Okay, and someone's... Yeah, someone feels like they missed an opportunity for their happiness to be to be happy for some type of growth. Someone may have been like riding the fence, refusing to make a choice. Something could have been someone felt like they were at a crossroads at a stalemate, refusing to see the truth of a situation when it came down to like a ten of swords. Someone. OK. Ten of swords can also talk about like a curse. OK, with the ten of cups next to it. It's, I don't even like going into that energy, but someone may have like a cursed family. It's fucked up. Um, someone may have cursed their own happiness. 
Hmm. Someone's family may have, like, caused some type of betrayal. Someone had divided loyalties here. I I'm going to get off that. Someone, okay, whatever. Someone's stepping into a new experience, but there's there was some shit going on. Like, I don't know if someone's leaving a marriage or there was a betrayal within a marriage, or betrayal through family, but somebody here is feeling like they missed an opportunity. There's some type of like focusing on the negative or some type of depression or boredom or nostalgic, n nostalgia, excuse me. Okay, someone's taking action, but I, Someone may have had a hard time making a choice when it came to their own happiness. Dealing's a relationship with a man. What is up with him? Mm, could be a water sign masculine, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or someone with water in their chart. This is someone who's emotionally mature. Very kind. Oh, an emperor too. I don't know. A magician. Virgo, Gemini, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, and the Strength card, Leo, again. I feel like someone's coming in strong, y'all. Someone's about to take action, step, step, the Emperor. It's like taking charge of a situation. This could be a father figure, because the King of Cups and the Emperor can both be a father. The magician, someone here is manifesting a soulmate or manifesting love or someone's trying to find the courage and the strength. This may have been someone who is holding back. This person could even be a little bit controlling or someone who's trying to control their emotions as well. Yeah. All right. What's up with this magician energy? That doesn't tell us too much. I mean, it tells us a lot, but not enough. Why is a magician here? The sun, Leo energy again. This person may have Virgo, Gemini, Leo in their chart. Or you may. Someone here is trying to manifest their own happiness. Or manifest some type of growth. Someone may be trying to make a sun. <laughs> That's random for someone. Okay. Show me the king of cups. What is up with him? Two of pentacles. So he may have some type of financial choice or decision, or he could have been juggling or going back and forth between two different ideas or two different things, or this person may be just trying to balance something out. Could be balancing out their emotions, balancing out their life. Damn, the Queen of Cups. So now you have a counterpart out here. It's, like I said, someone's trying to manifest their soulmate. That's what I was getting with this magician and this king of cups. And then now you got the queen of cups. Someone's about to take action here. Someone, Pisces, you could be a boss. You could be this uh, king. I don't know if you're the king of cups or the queen of cups. Um, doesn't really matter, but show me the strength card. I feel like either way, like there's some, this is love. Someone, I don't know if someone was juggling you or someone was going back and forth between. I don't know what they're going back and forth between, but. King of Pentacles, whoa. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. <sighs> someone may have been holding back some type of commitment or someone here is, this is a whole lot of people. We got the King of Cups, the Emperor, the, the uh, King of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, the Magician. Someone here is a very powerful manifester. Someone here sits in like a high position. Someone's very skilled at what they do as well. Someone could be their own boss or someone here is very like, someone's very skilled at whatever they do. This is someone who could be a little bit controlling or they just know how to control um, things around them or something. This is someone who's very strong, courageous, financial, financially supportive, mature, wealthy, grounded. Someone who, you know, is this is love and, and stability, love and um, like compassion and loyalty. Is this the same person, I wonder, or is this different energies? If this is different, you may have options or you may have a choice between two with this two of pentacles out here.
if you're the feminine, you could be this emperor. Like, you could be balanced with this two of pentacles, queen of cups, and the emperor. It's like you're very balanced between your masculine and your feminine energy, or even two of pentacles, king of cups, queen of cups. You're, you're balanced, you know, your feminine and your masculine energy is very balanced. You're very strong, stable, financially secure, happy. You're a powerful magician, okay? Masculine or feminine, I don't know or what side of this you're on, but this is some powerful ass energy here. I don't see anything negative surrounding it. Or it's gonna go down in flames. All right, show me money will be coming to you. What is up with this? Mm. So if someone has some money coming in, beware of great pride. Don't be like showboating, motorboating, whatever they call it. All right, money coming to you. Don't be like all prideful, up in your ego, shaking your tail feather. Like, oh, <laughs> holy shit, 10 of pentacles. Wow. What a hell of a reading, y'all. Okay, hold on a second. Y'all be sure to hit that like button. Like for real, for real. Look at this. Coins. Money will be coming to you. Y'all got some. You got three tens in this reading too. So I don't know. Cycles coming to an end. New ones starting. Long lasting money, security, legacy. I told you there was like compassion with loyalty here. With this King of Pentacles, King of Cups, and this Emperor. It's like some type of boss like energy. But also compassionate, caring, and dedicated and loyal at the same time. Someone who's a powerful manifester, someone who knows how to manifest like happiness, the magician and the sun card. Ah, someone who's very strong and courageous as well, has some type of influence or authority. Show me coins. They will become the voices. Eight of Pentacles, hard work and dedication. Y'all may be guarding your your money. Uh, yeah. Eight of Pentacles, hard work, dedication, okay, staying focused, working hard, self-employment possibly, or your own business for some. If not, it's like you guys are just very skilled and good at what you do, and it's paying off for you. The Nine of Wands is coming out, so careful not to, like, overwork or overexert yourself, you know, to the point where you're drained. The hair font, Taurus energy. Hmm. Some of you guys may be like protecting your money through like some type of government institution. What's this hair font here for? The strength card again. Oh my gosh. And the hangman. Pisces, Leo energy, Taurus energy. Some of you are very enlightened, very strong, very courageous. Some of you guys are like holding back. Someone could be holding back due to like some type of insecurities. <sighs> if anything's felt stuck or stagnant or held back from you, what? I feel like it's going to come in with the Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. Page of Wands. So it's like almost like as soon as you walk away from a situation, there's a, a page of wands. It's like there's a message or of good news or inspiration or something that excites you. Hmm. I feel like you guys have been very strong, courageous, very patient. Show me great, uh, beware of great pride. Nine of Cups coming out. Yeah, so if you are getting some type of Nine of Cups, some type of wish fulfillment, beware of great pride. Uh, um, you know, the Nine of Cups can sometimes be selfish or overindulgent. Um, so be careful for that. Beware of great pride. Why is that here for Pisces? Beware of great pride. There's about to be a problem. Yeah, problems to be resolved. Something's going to be resolved. There's a need to use your intuition. The high priestess is here. I feel like you are. 
you guys are looking into a situation, getting the information that you may need with this Page of Swords, Page of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. Y'all are about to be set. Like, independent, stable, self-sufficient, good on your own, having some type of wish fulfillment, being emotionally fulfilled, happy, um, enjoying the fruits of your labors. Damn, some of you guys have worked really hard for something here. Show me great where Beware of great pride. Woo! The devil. Yeah, don't let pride... Don't let your shadow side or your dark... Your dark side. <laughs> don't let, don't let, um, you know, Capricorn energy. Don't misuse something here. Six of Pentacles. Beware of great pride. The moon. This is me trying. So you guys may be feeling like someone wants to work with you. You guys may be fearing that someone wants to work with you to like obtain something from you, to have you like give to them the devil, the six of pentacles. It's like you, three pentacles in the moon. It's like some of you guys feel like someone wants to like you're fearing with the moon card. You're trying to use your intuition when it comes to like work, networking, collaborating with someone because you may feel like someone like either has some type of addictions here with the six of pentacles or someone could be given to someone else or um what does this have to do with pride i feel like you guys are dealing with someone who's prideful but i could be wrong Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and the Chariot. There's some type of information coming towards you. Or a decision being made that's going to move something forward here. This could even be some type of legal action. It's the devil. Why is the devil here? Eight of cups and four of, four of wands. Someone may be walking away from something that's toxic, some type of a... I don't know. A home, a marriage. You have Cancer, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Capricorn, maybe another Pisces. Someone's walking away from like a marriage. I did say something about that. But something here is toxic and binding or someone's bound to something by money or someone's going to be having to pay out some type of money for something. Why is this six of pentacles here? Three of pentacles. Yeah, someone may be having to like work together or co-parent with someone. Um, what is this six of pentacles? This could even be like alimony. Or something, Ace of Wands. It's almost like someone may be having to give something to like have a new beginning or to like leave a situation almost. What is that, blackmail? Why is the moon card here? Why is the three of pentacles here? Two of Pentacles in the reverse. So, and Seven of Pentacles. So, whatever the situation is, this prideful situation, there's no love. There's no cups. The Eight of Cups is here. It's like walking away from love. But I feel like there's some type of fears that something here is imbalanced or someone has made some type of poor financial decisions working with someone else. Someone's made a decision to like move on maybe from an air sign or an air sign made a choice or decision to move on or cancer or something to that nature. But someone's fearing like investing into a situation Because it's something that somebody is like bound to. 
So someone's pride may be getting in the way of a situation or you could be dealing with someone who's like egotistical. I see passion and money, like passion and finances. I don't see any love here. So it's like some of y'all may be thinking like this is all about the passion or all about the stability or finances because there is a lack of imbalance when it comes to working together as a team. And that's and uh, that's connected to some type of fear or worry. And someone's trying to use their intuition when it comes to like planting seeds and, you know, investing time, energy, resources into a situation. I don't know if someone has sex addiction. Someone may be paying for sex. That's just crazy. Okay. Someone's walking away from like a home, a stable foundation, a marriage, and they're moving on. There could be a choice or a decision that's being made to travel. I don't know what the hell this shit is, but hopefully you guys do. Um, whatever this is, I don't know. So there's the devil energies here. So it's like something here is, is binding. There's some type of binding here. And I feel like you guys are fearing that someone's doing something out of ego or doing something out of pride. And you're trying to use your intuition about this because you feel like working together with someone would be like a poor financial choice. You know, working together with someone would be a poor financial choice. Okay. It would cause some type of imbalance in your own life. If you guys have some type of money coming to you, y'all need to watch who's coming towards you. Period. Why is the Nine of Wands out here? The Empress. So and the Emperor. What? I don't know. I could be speaking to a Pisces man, Pisces woman. I don't really know, but both y'all people may be guarded. Like Why? Or, yeah, why? Why, why, why? Six is so, because someone, someone's moving away from like a marriage or a higher level of commitment or some type of contract. Someone's trying to move on from a contract. This could be your counterpart, okay? Trying to move on from some type of a contract or a marriage or a family dynamic and close some type of cycle out. There could be distance involved. You have the world and the six of swords here. But y'all are guarded toward it. You guys could be mirroring one another. I don't know. There's definitely like one situation ending and another one beginning. But I feel like y'all are guarded for different reasons. I don't know. I was just looking at this guaranteed success and then I have the six of wands, the justice card and the six of wands again. So whatever this situation is, it's going to be balanced out. I feel like there will be success on both parties or both ends. Emperor, Empress, six of wands, six of wands. Okay. Someone may be like ghosting a cancer or Virgo and moving on from the past, making some type of hard choice or decision to come towards you. I don't know. Or, yeah, come towards you. So, I don't know. I feel like both of y'all are guarded for different reasons. Maybe both of you are of status. Because you have this emperor energy out here. You got this empress energy out here. High priestess. Some of you guys are like... You guys are receiving a message of good news. It's a brand new proposal, an opportunity, maybe even an opportunity to travel or a new home or 
moving or something or you're getting approved for a loan. And then there's like this Ten of Cups, stepping into a new experience. So some of you guys are stepping into a new experience after an ending, a harsh, painful ending. See what I'm saying? The mirror card just came out. Oh my gosh. Mirroring each other, self-image, relationships reflect our wounds and introspection. I'm trying to tell you, you guys are mirroring one another. You guys are both guarded, but for different reasons, I feel like. One person may be guarded because they're like getting out of a situation that's like toxic and binding or with someone who's very controlling and possessive and uh, sneaky or, or has secret or there's some type of secrets here. There, someone's like hiding something straight up. Someone may be hiding addictions. Um, this could be a gambling addiction, sex addiction, drug addiction, alcohol addiction. Someone may be controlling or someone may be like um, doing something at night in excess that maybe they shouldn't be doing. This could be obsession as well. I don't know. Someone, someone, this could even be just like pride and ego. I feel like once someone's guarded because someone's giving to two or someone still is like bound to another, to something else, to another situation. It could be this Cancer, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. There's some type of poor financial choices or decisions. And the other person I feel like is guarded because they are on to some type of bigger, better boss moves, new opportunities, money coming in. Like someone's on doing some other shit and the other one's guarded because they're attached to something. So it's like you guys are guarded towards one another, like mirroring each other. Sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, and focusing out. Yeah, so someone may be watching you be happy or build build some type of financial security or success for yourself with new opportunities coming in. Someone may feel like you're being very secretive or mysterious. But there's a message coming in. There's probably more than one, but anyways... Um, yeah. And girl with the snake, empath and narcissist paradigm being used, charmed, being, oh my gosh, being charmed or used in able boundaries. So some of you guys feel like, um, and dates, meeting someone new, getting back out there, plan and set a date. So I don't know if this is like an old person coming in as a new energy. I don't know. I don't necessarily see that because this person's an Still in a toxic energy, if that's the case. But I don't necessarily see like narcissistic vibes out here. But uh, some of you guys just may be wanting to meet someone new, get back out there, setting dates, planning, you know, new new endeavors. Because maybe. Again, with this trust, it's like some of you guys may be very empathic, very intuitive with this high priestess, queen, king of cups out here. Okay, so it's like you guys may feel, you guys can tell that someone's attached to something toxic and binding. So you feel like this person possibly gaslights you, stalks you, watches you, or whatever. Or maybe you stalk and watch this person because you feel like this person's a snake. It's like an empath, narcissist paradigm. You feel like that you don't trust this person. And that's why someone's guarding their like empire or their money or their home or their stability or their future plans or whatever the hell they got going on. And the other one is being guarded or feeling guarded because they got other shit going on that they're still attached to. So you may be planning on meeting someone new, getting, you know, getting back out there, meeting someone new. Some of you guys could have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn coming in. Aries, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, possibly, because you do have all this masculine energy here. I'm not quite sure if it's the same person or different. Could be a Taurus or a Libra if it's feminine, possibly Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, you also have the King of Wands out here, Aries, Leo, Sag. Some of you guys may be ignoring a fire sign and stepping into a new experience. Yeah, so that could be this nart. I don't know. Someone who's been riding the fence, not choosing not to make a choice or a decision here. Someone who has 
rose colored glasses on someone who may be very passionate or takes very passionate action towards you but doesn't really give you the truth two of swords is like lack of clarity you know and ten of swords this could be someone who betrayed you this could be someone you share a family with this king of wands and i feel like you don't trust this person so some of you guys have a pisces cancer scorpio taurus virgo capricorn or an aries in particular coming in maybe a leo um but whoever this is, this person's like very high vibrational. This man, dealings or relationship with a man. This person's a manifester. Virgo Gemini is here as well, if I didn't say that. Anyways, I'm going to leave this reading here. If it helped give you clarity, holy shit, that's a long reading. Let me know. Smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next one. Peace.